This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a custom function. The custom function we have in this case is x exclamation point y. And it helps to remember that when you're dealing with custom functions, there's no knowledge that you're supposed to bring to the table here. There's no special information you're supposed to have. This operator, the exclamation point, uh, means nothing. It's not a factorial. It's not anything special. All it is is some kind of operator that has two inputs. It has input one and it has input two. The input one is the thing on the left. Input two is the thing on the right, and that's it. And whatever that thing on the left is, you're supposed to plug that in anywhere you see an X. So I'll call that I1. And wherever you see a Y, you're supposed to plug in input two. And this whole thing evaluates to some output, which will be whatever's on the other side of the equal sign. So for example, in our case, what we're given is four exclamation point R equals 49. And they're asking us to solve, so they're saying find R. Well, let's simply plug in, and input one is four. So anywhere where we have an X, I'm gonna plug a four. So let's do two times four. And anywhere we have a Y, I'm gonna put an R. Plus four plus R equals, and this is the output, 49. Now, let's solve this equation for r. So we'll end up with 8r plus 4 plus r equals 49. Collect like variables, so we'll end up with 9r plus 4 equals 49. Let's subtract 4 from both sides. And we end up with 9r equals 45. Divide both sides by 9 and we can show that r equals 5. And that is your answer. Note the match between what we've found and what we've been asked to find.